Hello, I'm Dr. Stephen Kopetsky, Professor of Medicine and Cardiologist at Mayo Clinic, specializing in cholesterol disease and preventive cardiology. Today I'll be discussing what you need to know about cholesterol management. We treat tens of thousands of patients every year at Mayo Clinic with high cholesterol, and it's important to treat it and lower it because it builds up in the arteries, causes damage to the lining of the arteries, which supply blood to the heart, and if they get narrowed to the point where they decrease blood flow, you have a heart attack or a stroke. We do simple blood tests, such as uh, drawing blood to measure cholesterol levels, both good and bad cholesterol. That's usually done fasting. But we have many treatments available if your cholesterol levels are high. The standard treatment that we always go to and start with is diet. Cutting down on saturated fats, saturated animal fats. One thing that's very important is to cut out some of the oils that are very popular right now, like palm oil and coconut oil, that'll actually raise your LDL cholesterol. Secondly is cut out trans fats. Those are fats found in foods and oils that stabilize them. You can look on the label, it'll say how much trans fats. Unfortunately, it'll say zero trans fats if it's less than 500 milligrams per serving of trans fat. So you actually have to read the label of the oil and if it has partially hydrogenated, or it says partially hydrogenated anything, coconut oil, olive oil, uh, canola oil, then that's a trans fat. So the second thing uh, after the diet is activity, exercise. It's been shown that if you go on medicines to lower your cholesterol, that if you're active physically, you can increase the benefit of the chances that the medicine will lower your chance of dying or having a heart attack. The exercise really doesn't lower your cholesterol, but it does lower your chance of dying. The third thing in the big uh, treatment we use is now pills, medicines. Um, one thing we always try to do is get you on uh, dietary supplements sometimes that can help. If you don't have heart disease already, we have time to, to work with that. Things like soluble fiber, things like oat bran, things like stanols and sterols that are supplements that you can take along with good oils, healthy oils, a few nuts, lots of fruits and vegetables will help lower it. And then finally, we want to give you drugs called statins are very often recommended, especially if you have known heart disease. The statins are drugs that actually lower the production of cholesterol in your blood that's made by your liver. They're very effective. They're very effective at lowering the cholesterol, lowering your chance of having a heart attack and dying. And finally, there's some people that just don't respond well to statins, or they have such high cholesterol the statins don't work. Then we think of other drugs like these new PCSK9 inhibitors that will actually lower cholesterol in a different way by allowing your own body to clear it out of your system better. Those drugs are very effective. They're given with a subcutaneous injection every two or four weeks. We're working on new drugs that are given every few months but they're very effective, uh, they're not cheap, so we only reserve them for patients that are intolerant or don't get to their goal by taking the other medications and their lifestyle changes. So in summary, cholesterol leads to heart attacks and strokes, number one. Number two is lifestyle is extremely important. Supplements that can be taken to lower your cholesterol, eating habits can change, exercise habits help tremendously, lower your chance of dying or having a, a heart attack. And then finally, if that doesn't work, supplements and then medications such as statins have been shown to be life-saving also. Thank you for listening. For more information, see the information on the screen below.